developments in the newsroom and is here now with much more. Tracy, pressure mounting as talks between the U.S. and Mexico continue with President Trump's promise to impose 5% tariffs on all exports to the U.S. looming unless Mexico meets the president's immigration demands. The hey, Elizabeth the Rake alive in the newsroom. Elizabeth. Lou, the suspect, Gail Ritchie, is currently married to the deceased child's father. Police say her husband had no idea Gail got rid of their child back in 1993, but he was here in court today, and her attorney says he fully supports his wife through all of this. For Richie does have three adult children. Authorities also say Richie admitted giving birth to another baby two years prior and also disposing of the baby the same way in Cuyahoga County. Lou, they searched the area she told them but weren't able to find any evidence but are now having Cuyahoga County open up an investigation. Case here, Liz. Natalie, the 66 year old bicycle rider, was rushed to the hospital immediately after the accident last night, but he did not survive. His name has not yet been released. The suspect in this case is 64 year old Sharon Carr from Sheffield Lake. Elizabeth Noreki here. Now, Elizabeth, you have the latest information on this. Lou, police say former Boston Red Sox slugger David Ortiz was ambushed by a man who got off a motorcycle and shot him in the back last night at a bar and lounge. Now, I do want to warn you, this video is tough to watch. More on what happened, Elizabeth. At Tracy and Lou, one cadet was killed and 22 others hurt while on a summer training mission just before 7 o'clock this morning. The cadets, along with two soldiers, were riding in a five-ton cargo truck that overturned on a dirt road. The accident happened near a highway that connects to a camp training site. The identity of the cadet has not been released. As for the 20 cadets and two soldiers who were hurt, the injuries range from cuts and scrapes to broken bones, but the military says all are non-life-threatening injuries. There's still no word yet how the accident happened, but the type of vehicle in which they were riding is not prone to these types of accidents. No, it is not common for these vehicles to turn over. It's, it's very rough terrain. You can see the hills we have here. Uh, we want to make sure that our soldiers and our cadets train in realistic training environment, so this is part of our realistic training. President Donald Trump issued a brief statement on Twitter writing, so sorry to hear about the terrible accident involving our great West Point cadets. We mourn the loss of life and pray for the injured. God bless them all. Tracy and Lou. Just awful there. Under investigation. Back here in Northeast Ohio, some residents in Elyria are being pushed to the limit when it comes to speeders in their neighborhood. Now they have taken matters into their own hands. It's hard to miss the signs on Bell Avenue is going on the street. Turning now to our weather, Melissa joining us now. And Melissa, I've come to the determination that the only way I like to drive is when the sun's out and the roads are dry because today it's pretty terrifying. It was a torrential downpour at times and you couldn't even yeah. see in front of you. And then there's the ponding on the road you have to worry about. And then the semi going 100 miles an hour next to you. Always. Always. There's like intermittent wipers to low to high. It's Good evening and welcome to Fox 8 News at 7 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Nareka. Back in 1993, a baby was found dead in Geauga County with his umbilical cord still attached. And now, a quarter century later, police have finally identified the boy's mother. Fox 8's Jack Shea has more on the woman who is now charged with aggravated murder. Elizabeth joins us with today's update. Hi there. Hi, Bill and Tracy. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you've been waiting for this. Well, you weren't even here yesterday. No. <laughs> well, here's something you don't see every day. It wasn't the sky that was falling in Las Vegas, but rather parts of a plane. Officials at a nearby Air Force base say an access panel fell off the plane shortly after takeoff. Fox E News. Maya, thank you. Authorities in Geauga County made an arrest in a notorious cold case. It was in 1993 that a newborn baby was found dead outside Thompson with the umbilical cord still attached. The baby became known as Jaga's child. Jack Shea explains how investigators cracked the case. Genetic testing, Elizabeth, played a key role in this investigation. That's right, Lou, and investigators, they never gave up. Now, thanks to multiple law enforcement departments working together and with the help of a genetics testing company out of California, they can now put a name to the victim after all these years. Days after a man and a woman are found shot to death, investigators promise justice. But are they any closer to solving this mystery in the Metro Parks? 
Good evening and thanks so much for being with us tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Nureka. Our top story, Cleveland Metro Parks police are giving new insight into the shooting death of two people at the Rocky River Reservation. But as Fox 8's Maya Belay tells us, there are still many questions. Back to you. All right, Melissa, also very exciting. You know what else is exciting? Seeing the sun and not seeing any rain. Andre joining us now in the front yard without his umbrella. How about that? <laughs> and it's